What's going on, my three loyal followers, and then 68,000 of you that don't know what a subscribe button is? Button smash! As far as what I got going on today, I got something special. This is the big diesel heater, and uh, it is from Amazon. So, I've been seeing a lot of these pop up for review, and it got me thinking. I have a bunch of waste oil, and I have nothing to do with it, and it's cold in here. So two birds, one stone. I'm gonna install this here in this room and pour waste oil in it. Will it break? I don't know. My name is Colin. Welcome to Steinfab Garage. What? Huh, that is definitely smaller than I expected. Made in China. Looks decent though. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and repair that so I don't have to stare at that the rest of the video. Landlord approved. Here it is straight out of the box. It looks really good. Got a nice little LCD display as well as this remote. Ah, look at the cute little exhaust. This is the intake that you use to point the hot air where you want it to blow. I don't know what the f this thing is. Why doesn't this fit? Maybe it goes on here. Turns out I only had half of it. What the actual And here we have the four bolts it comes with to mount it. So wherever you choose to secure it, you can bolt it down. When you get one of these heaters, you want to go ahead and remove the cover. Sometimes the kids assembling them are tired and forget to tighten the clamps. Both of these clamps are tight, so that's good for us. And everything looks good. We don't have clamps on this orange line, but I'm not really too concerned about it, especially because like used oil is not flammable. Well, it, it is once it's heated, and diesel actually is hard to light on fire if you guys didn't know. So it's not just gonna explode. If it starts leaking, then I'll address it. Now, when I ordered it, I didn't actually know. I thought it would be 110. Like this would go in there. This does not go in there. So I'm gonna go outside and find a car battery to power this, and then uh, we'll boot it up and see what it wants to do. I'm gonna throw some diesel in here for now. I have a little bit left from changing the fuel filter on my Cummins. Then I have this, which is some corn oil that I was gonna throw away. So once I get it up and running good on diesel, I'm gonna switch it to corn oil, see how it runs on that. And then I will go to used motor oil straight out of a car, unfiltered in any way, just straight at, dumped out of an engine, dumped in here, and we'll see if it runs. Don't ask why my only multimeter is currently a $7 Harbor Freight one. Ten volts. We're a little low, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this thing on the charger. While the battery's charging, I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure out where to mount this thing. There's not a lot of room in here. I've done pretty well at utilizing every available spot I can. 17, but I need room for the, uh, this thing. 22. 18 really 20 so I have room to fill. After cleaning some stuff up, I realized I have about two options right below this table. Ultimately, neither of those spots win though and I choose the shelf just because it's gonna be easiest to service it. You guys know I love self tappers, right? And zip ties, I'm a die hard 240 boy. They also work great as handcuffs, as you can see uh, when the police use them. Sometimes when your mom. It's actually really solid. Looks like we have intake on the rear 
and the front should be exhaust. This is the first boot up and I did not read any of the instructions okay. or about the prime cycle. So I just fired it up straight out of the box. It's doing something now. It's starting to get diesel down here. Okay, we have ignition. I'm thinking I should have hooked up the exhaust before I melt everything down here. Off, yep. So that means it's officially time to blast a hole in this wall and get the exhaust routed. Ooh, cotton candy. The Forstner wasn't quite long enough, so I found a hole saw that will go a little deeper. Then a quick remount with the Forstner. At this point, I need to find a pipe, but I only managed to find these spark plug non-foulers. This will work in a pinch when you're trying to, oh, wait, wait a minute. This is the pipe I'm looking for. The exhaust fits in it no problem, but it doesn't quite fit through the wall. Now, I can't find the hole saws anywhere. Luckily, I happen to have a sledgehammer, so, uh, you know, brute force sometimes does the trick. I don't know if this stuff's rated for heat, but I'm gonna try it. Um, I don't care, really. Four minutes. Okay guys, this thing is awesome. It is putting out some real heat. I'm getting like, ow, oh, oh, ooh, oh, that burned my hand. Yeah, we're getting like 420. Yeah, 420. And the exhaust down here, it says it's only like 280. And you can tell it's already coloring out. It's getting warm. Everything was good to go straight out of the box. I just hooked up 12 volt, put diesel in it, it fired right up. I'm gonna let it run and burn all that crap off as well as just make sure it functions on diesel. I went ahead and marked the fuel just so I can get some idea of how fast it drops. But once it's out of that, this whole thing of corn oil is going in there. Assuming it runs good on the corn oil, the used oil goes in straight out of cars and that's gonna be what breaks it if something breaks it so stay tuned not even an hour in and we got e05 which is the machine is overheating um don't know i just went ahead and rebooted it i have removed the intake according to the fine people of the internet Sometimes the intake will cause it. This is why I'm starting with diesel to break it in. So I want it running smooth and then we'll go to other substances. It's the next morning and I walked into E08. The flame is extinguished. Poor oil supply. I think it's out of gas. Fuel, I think it's out of diesel. That looks pretty empty to me. The only logical thing to do is to go straight for it. There's probably residual diesel in there, but it is fully on corn oil. Why is it going off? E08. I'm going to pull the case and see what's going on. It's 
trying to pump, it's a lot quieter. So I think an issue is uh, how thick it is. This is actually more diesel, not more corn oil. So I'm gonna try thinning it. So now it's about 50-50. Give it a little agitation. Now it seems to be drawing more, the fan's up higher. Uh, so it either was too thick or it was airlocked from running it out last night. It's running now, getting some good heat. I'm gonna go get a burrito and hope it doesn't run out of gas again while I'm gone, run out of fuel. I think I'm gonna grab a little more diesel while I'm out. Pretty sure the corn oil is way smokier than the diesel. I'm gonna let that burn off. So I just got back and it appears to be running way cleaner. At this point, it's time to refuel. Corn oil didn't work well, diesel worked good. Ultimately, I decide it is just time to go for the waste motor oil. Why not, right? Now I did say I wouldn't be filtering this and I do not consider this filtering it. 226 microns is massive. Your normal oil filter filters three to five microns. The point of me running it through this screen is just because my oil has sat around uncovered for weeks on end, picking up dead bugs and leaves that fall in it. See, we didn't filter out anything but dead bugs. And welcome to the beginning of the end. Most people would have a second gas tank or a plan B. Uh, this is the whole plan. Pour the oil in, see what happens. This thing is having major issues pumping the oil. At this point, it's been running for about 10 minutes and it is actually beginning to push it and my hopes have returned. There's some air hanging out in the line, but it seems to just be hanging out. I was a little worried at first when it seemed to have trouble uh, picking up and pushing the oil. There was a lot of air in it, but it seems to have sorted it out. And it's been running for 20 minutes right now. All the temperatures are good. The burn looks cleaner than on the corn oil. I do want to point out that that corn oil sat around for about eight months in the sun and there was like congealed stuff around the cap. So that could have been not a good test. But as of right now, it seems to be running very well on the waste oil. So if you have a clean drain pan and you drain it straight out of the car, it can go straight in there. As of right now, this is day one. I have it set to max and I'm going to leave it running for the next five, ten hours and see if anything uh, happens. Keep watching. I got a couple more days of testing before I give you guys an answer. I've left this thing running for a couple hours and I just came back. We have 08 again and 08 is uh, what we had with the oil. It also keeps making that noise. Which, I don't know, and oil is dripping from the inlet. That could be bad. Anyway, um, that thing might blow up, but it's running pretty much on straight oil. And I'm gonna top it up with even more straight oil. I went ahead and just ordered one of these and the reason I want this one is it's Bluetooth. So this one is gonna go somewhere over there, either in that upper corner or down there. The way I have that far corner and this corner. I've had really good luck with Viver's pro, pro with Viver's products on Subarus as far as like catalytic converters. This one I'm hoping is a little more high quality. Just feeling it, it feels 
nice. I'm reading online about some of the error codes. Uh, I was reading on people that just buy three units before they get a good one because they're so cheaply made. The guy I was reading his thread, he actually has a fourth as a backup for his van. That's why I just went ahead and ordered the one. Oh, 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 what happened? See you in the morning. This thing is not happy. I keep popping error codes, we got E10, and I've booted it up three times this morning, and it tries to start, but it's just not happy, and it is massively dumping oil out of the intake. I found a larger description, and it says, check with the oil pumps working. I think there's two ways to resolve this. One, I need a different fuel pump. Two, I need an oil heater, or both. Let's take a look at the smoke. Hi, Gato. What are you doing down there? It's a little smoky. Already got 08. I'm gonna reboot again. That doesn't look good. Appears to be hemorrhaging smoke out of the intake. So this thing is not liking the uh, waste oil at all. It just keeps throwing in errors. I'm going to try thinning it down with diesel and see if that works. There we have it, about 10 minutes. So that's actually the most it's fired today. It's been failing pretty quick. So I'm gonna drain this tank and put diesel in it. I think I'm high on burning oil smoke. You can't really see it on the camera. But anyway, I'm draining that out, going back to diesel and just seeing if it will run normally. Fire this thing up. I'm calling it. Don't run waste oil in your heater. Don't do it straight. Maybe if you're just adding a little in. It was running all right for a little bit, but running 100% unfiltered waste oil, no. The answer is don't do it. I finally got this thing into prime mode. I also figured out there was plastic on here that I didn't notice for the whole video, so my bad. Um, But yeah, it's not priming. I don't know what's going on. It's just letting air flow. What I think is happening is it's not closing all the way internally. So it's just letting air in. I don't know where the air is coming from. I elevated it to get it to do anything. So now I can tell that pump is 100%. Uh, I ordered a fuel pump. Fuel pump's on the way. But uh, probably... I actually ordered two fuel pumps because I'm probably going to blow these up. I don't know. I'm going to continue to mess with this. But for the average person, the answer is you cannot trouble free just dump oil in and have it run flawlessly like I thought. We don't know till we try these things. So I tried. It's not working well. Uh, there was one day where it worked all right, but I think it was cut probably a third with diesel. So I'm gonna make this thing work. I also have another heater coming in. I ordered a Vivor, Vivor, Vivor with a uh, Bluetooth so I can, you know, Bluetooth it to my phone and all that fancy stuff. So I'll be trying to run that one on waste oil and I'm gonna just keep trying till I figure out what the ratio is uh, of something to something. If you want to see the outcome uh, go ahead and subscribe like you know i showed you earlier in the video ah! press that button press it anyway i'm gonna go to sleep because i'm tired of with this like i have been for three hours i will keep at it and let you guys know what you can put through these thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time